there are two different ways to do this. In both cases, you'll need to first navigate to GitHub. So if you go to GitHub forward slash Kurt Sundell, all one word, you'll find this page here. Click on HCalc ML. If you want to run this in MATLAB, you can go down here to clone or download. Click on this. One way is to download the entire zip drive. You don't need to sign in or anything like that, so you see it down here. This you can bring onto your desktop. Extract it. Open this up and run the M file from here. That's one way. And this will open up in just a second. So here, just run this and press this little little uh, green four button. So now you have HCalc ML and all of the components within. Another way to get this onto your machine is to do it through Git. So Git is a program that connects GitHub to your local machine. So first you'll need a command interface. You can use Anaconda. So just download Anaconda for Windows or Mac. And that will give you a command window here. You'll also need Git. So Git is just a program that will live in the background and Anaconda will automatically link to it. And so if you want to connect directly to um, HCalc ML and be able to pull any updates at any point, we'll open up the Anaconda window and navigate to a place where you want to put that same folder that we uh, looked at just a minute ago. So you'd say, if you type in ls, it'll show you all of the different files and uh, folders in the directory that you're in. So here we want to put it into documents. So if we say cd, change the directory, space, capital D, O, and then if you press tab, it'll automatically fill it. And now you're in documents, so ls will tell you what's inside documents. So there's all kinds of neat stuff in here. And so here we want to go into MATLAB. So cd for change directory, space, m, a, and then again you can just press tab and that will automatically fill, press enter, and now we're in the MATLAB directory. Now if you type in ls, there's nothing in there, because if you actually go into the MATLAB directory through documents, MATLAB, there's nothing in there. So we're just navigating through this directory system in the command line. So to connect to GitHub, you use git, what you do is you type in git space clone space and go back to that GitHub page, clone or download. Now instead of downloading, we're going to clone. So here you take this uh, URL, copy it. So copy this. And here you paste it and press enter. And now what it's doing is it's making an exact copy of what's on GitHub to your local machine. And the nice thing about doing it this way is, say there you know that there have been some updates, you don't need to download the entire uh, directory from GitHub every single time. You can just pull the minor little changes and bug fixes that have taken place. All right, so now, you're in the same directory you were before, but you've cloned to HCalc ML. So now if we type in ls to see what's in this directory, now you see we have something in there. We have HCalc ML. To verify this, you can always go into Documents, MATLAB, and there's HCalc ML. And so in the command line, change directory into that, cd HCalc ML, press tab to automatically fill, Press enter, press ls to list what is in there, and there's all kinds of different um, files in, in here. And so now, 
anytime you would want to update just the minor little changes and bug fixes that have taken place and are on GitHub, all you have to do is navigate into that hcalcml folder and type git pull and enter. If there's any changes, it'll automatically update that those individual files. You see here, we're already up to date. If there were minor fixes, you would see how many changes were actually made and which files were changed. Okay, so now we can do the same thing, go into hcalcml, open up hcalcml.m, and this will open up the code itself. Don't open the fig file. You would you want to run this through the, um, through the m file if you're running in MATLAB. And again, you just press this green arrow and you have hcalcml. Now there's one final way to put hcalcml on your computer that does not require MATLAB. If you go back to the GitHub page, so we're in hcalcml. Down here you see releases. So this has three releases so far. In releases, see there's only been three, but on the top 1.41 is the latest. So since we are on a Windows machine here, we would want to download the executable. And also in here is this example data and materials. And so this will have example files for everything that is contained within hcalcml. Okay, so we've downloaded two different things here. One is this example folder full of examples here. So here we have examples for tree analysis, uranium, lead, hafnium, all kinds of stuff here. So we'll go over this in a separate video, but just so you know, these exist. The other thing that we have downloaded is the executable file. Now the executable requires the MATLAB runtime to be installed on your machine. So if you go back to hcalcml, and scroll all the way down. These are all of the different files here that run hcalc, but there's a little readme file that tells you how to run it with MATLAB. I've showed you how to do this before you run that .m file. But to run without MATLAB, if you don't have a MATLAB license or you don't have MATLAB on your machine, you can run the standalone executable by downloading the executable, which we just did, and installing um, a free compiler. So they're different for Windows and different for Mac. So if you click on this, this link here, this will download a file. It's a pretty big file. It usually takes about 15, 20 minutes to download. And um, you will install that. And it won't do anything when you install it. It'll just live in the background of your machine. And you'll, it'll allow you to run just the executable like a regular program. Okay, so now that the compiler is installed, hcalcml, just lives on your desktop or wherever you want to um, keep it. You just run it like a regular program. Sometimes it says, don't run. You say run anyway. If you're on a Mac, you'll need to um, right click and say open and that will give you the option to open it. If this is the first time you're opening hcalcml as an executable, um, it might take a couple of minutes to map out to the directory. What you don't want to do is try and open it four or five times because then you'll get four or five hcalcmls and it'll just slow everything down. And so now you're running this without MATLAB, so you don't need a MATLAB license or anything to run it. The next thing we'll do in the next video is take a look at uranium-led uh, data reduction using the element 2.